Hi, this is Dr. Sage Breslin, and this is Wisdom Wednesdays. So are you living your best life? Am I living my best life? Do you even know what your best life would be, or if it's realistic, or even if it's doable? I think that a lot of coaches out there talk about ensuring that you can live your best life. And don't get me wrong, I've probably used this phrase from time to time in the past, but I've been listening to conversations that clients have been having and even prospective clients about, you know, is that really what coaching is about? Are we, are we getting into coaching so we can live our best lives? And are we are we reaching for the right goal? Is it, is it even an attainable goal or achievable goal? And I think it's a really good contemplation. You know, as I have been considering this idea, living your best life, I mean, who's to say you're not living your best life? And does it mean that somebody else is going to tell you when you are living your best life? I don't know. So instead, I've been looking at more recent conversations I've had with prospective clients, um, namely women who have this accidental magnet to uh, toxic narcissists. And I'm so sure I would never use that phrase. What I would really step into is, are you living in your truth? And we might ask the same questions. What does that mean? What is your truth? Well, here's something tricky. For those of us who've been in violent relationships or have been in relationship with a toxic narcissist, um, the truth gets really muddy. And the longer we're in that relationship, the less the truth is our own. Oftentimes, the healthiest way that we know to deal with uh, a soul sucker is to live their truth. It's to keep them happy. It's to make sure that we do everything in our power to make sure that, you know, the partner is taken care of or doesn't take issue with things. We begin, you know, stepping on those teeny tiny eggshells so that it isn't more difficult for us. And our truth, our core truth, it gets stored in the vault. And sometimes it just seems to have gone away altogether. So what I'd love to say is if you're ready to change your life, if you're ready to stop you know, being sick and tired of being sick and tired. If you're ready to make a change, uh, no matter where you go to help move things along, consider the goal of simply learning to stand in your truth. How about the first goal be discovering what your truth really is? Because that might take a while. That might take some heavy lifting to pull off everything that you've piled on to really uncover what the truth is. What is, what are the things that make you happy? What are the things that you find purpose and meaning in? Where do your real passions lie? What are your values? Now, are you living a life that's consistent with all of that? If not, what are the things that can easily be migrated or changed or transitioned so that your life looks more reflective of your core values, your core truths, passions, desires. So for this Wisdom Wednesday, how about you just step into living your truth? This is Dr. Sage Breslin. I look forward to speaking with you whenever you desire.